Hello class, this is the second of our voiceover slideshows for this semester. What I want to do is to share a project that I'm actually working on now uh, with you to illustrate some of the variability in the quality of solid waste that is liable to show up at a landfill. This is a slideshow about solid waste from homeless and campments. Vacant property is subject to being occupied by the homeless. Increasingly, we have more and more people feeling stress from the housing crash, from the economy, and uh, as well as a host of other causes. And uh, so there are more and more people living in desperate situations. And homeless people, as we all do, generate solid waste. The problem is, particularly when they take over vacant land or trespass, that this waste is uncontrolled. It is also potentially biohazardous. So your first question, can you name five ways in these three bag in, in these in these bags? These bags are full of waste that's been removed from these encampments that I've, I'm working on now. So the next question for you is whose responsibility is it? The land in question is being leased from a railroad and uh, the property owners have put up signage, they've put up fences. Whose responsibility is it and why? And also, how should a landfill handle it when it comes to its gates? Security is a big issue here. Now, when you have homeless people, transients, on your property, there are security issues. Tell me what you think some of the security situations are and what steps should be taken to collect and remove this waste. So at this site, this waste from homeless people is mixed with scrap and other recyclables. So here's a question. How would you manage the overall removal of all of this material. To give you a better idea, the scrap, some of the pieces of scrap are over 20 tons in weight, the solid metal rotors from giant uh, generators. Um, there are also trusses that have been used uh, in, in bridges and overpasses. So huge pieces of, of scrap that need to be removed by heavy machinery. Here's an example of some of the homeless waste. This is a mattress. It had a plastic cover on it when it was pulled out from the area where the person was, was um, was camped up. No one was on site when we did this, by the way. Here's another picture to show you some more of the waste. Note the razor and the fork. Often you'll see toothbrushes, although we didn't see any here. So here's a question. Because these are homeless people, because you don't know what their health is, should these common items be treated in any special way? And why do, you why do you think so? So that's the end of this exercise. I hope you have fun with it. As always, uh, your suggestions and your feedback are, are wonderful. Please keep it coming. Take care. Bye-bye.